Hi guys, this is Elise. Happy Sunday, and I am here with my Saturday morning makes, um, which is hosted by Jill Norwood. Good morning, Jill. And I just want to come in and share with you guys a couple of decor pieces that I made for the craft show. So let me show you what I did. And um, I just basically used things for my stash. I did use some buckets that I got at um, Hobby Lobby. And uh, so you'll see. Let me show you what I what I did. Okay, so I made these these buckets here look how cute this is okay so the first thing I did this was just a silver bucket that I got from Hobby Lobby and I used the cinnamon technique to give it that rusty look and basically all I did was I brushed it with Mod Podge I sprinkled cinnamon let it dry and then I went over it again with Mod Podge to seal it so and it gave it that rusty like instant rusty look and then here I actually Mod Podged a uh, Invimer piece and this is from I believe this is from a Pebbles pack I'm not sure which one because I have a bunch of Christmas Invimer that's just kind of all mixed together so I, I believe it's from Pebbles and then I just started to fill my bucket now in the bottom I did put a piece of styrofoam and I used my glue gun to uh, make sure everything stayed in place and um, and this is how it turned out I used um, a rusty bell. I use these trees. Let me show you the trees that I use, guys. Wait. Oh. Okay, so these are the trees that I use, and I picked these up at Home Goods. Let me move this out of the way. And it's from Martha Stewart, and you get 12 trees in a pack. And I just thought they were so beautiful, and they looked, you know, really, really nice. They didn't look, um, you know, because I wanted a tree that looked a little bit more um put together than some of the ones you get at walmart and things like that so i got these and they were a good price they weren't badly priced i think i got there were 12 trees for i think they were 12.99 so i picked those up and you can see that i have several left but this is the way this first one turned out and i just used some sprigs um here and here this little santa is just a little vintage little um ornament that i picked up at a um a uh, swap meet and then I use some peppermints from my stash there's a jingle bell and I used a rusty star here in the back and then I went around the edges with some of this uh, fake snow so that's the first one okay so here is the second one and this one I love this one because I've got this little ginger peeking up right there and this is also a little Santa that I got at a uh, swap meet and I always collect little Santas every time I see them throughout the year at you know, garage sales, swap meets, flea markets. I love little Santas and I actually have a huge big jar of vintage Santas that I put out at the holidays. So this little guy here, he came from the Dollar Tree and then I put another tree. I put this little glittery um, sign back here that says Merry Christmas. I'm not sure if I'm liking that. I may pull that out. And on the front of this one, it says Merry Christmas. And I think that turned out really adorable. Now on the handles, um, I actually just wrapped some pipe cleaner, the red and white uh, pipe cleaner Chanel stick around the handle. So there's that one. This one's kind of similar, but I did put one of these vintage picks here. And then I put some candy canes. There's a vintage, not a vintage, but a rusty star. I put a couple of pine cones in this one. Um, some more of the sprigs and then that snowman. And the front of this one says, give joy. Okay, and then the last one. This one here, I used another one of those vintage picks, and I used some of these um, candy uh, peppermint uh, ornaments. I just took the string off and put those there. I put some more peppermints in there, and look how this one says, it's the most wonderful time of the year, and they turned out so adorable. Now, this snow that I used, it's this here. It came in a big bag, and I just have it actually in this milk glass piece that by the way, came from the Goodwill for 99 cents. Can you guys believe it? The Goodwill is very surprising to me because some things are marked um, really cheap. Sometimes things that you would think would be a little bit more and then you turn it over and you get surprised with a price like 99 cents on that, which I was just shocked. I couldn't leave it there. Not that I needed it, but I'm just keeping this fake snow um, for the season. I'm going to use this because I'm going to be using this more. So I thought, you know what? That looks really cute in that dish. So I ended up putting it in there. But these are my little... Um, my little decor pieces, and these are going to go at the, go to the to the uh, craft fair. I'm not sure how much I'm going to price them for yet. Um, if you have 
any suggestions let me know um how much you think you know i should price them at um but i think they'll i think they'll sell i hope so um but I'm getting all ready. I got a couple more things I want to do, and then I can start packing things up. But I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty much done. Everything I'm doing now is going to be like tagging things. And I have one, like I said, I have one more project to do, and I just need to get everything tagged and packed. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great Sunday. And thank you again, Jill, for hosting Saturday Morning Makes. I spent a lot of time actually yesterday watching videos and going through um, Instagram and leaving comments and leaving uh, likes. I still have a few more to watch. There's a lot of videos out there, guys, and there's a lot of Instagram posts. So um, I know Jill said in her video that, you know, she's going to be away for a little bit and I'm going to, you know, do my part to help and try to um, leave comments. So if you guys have not um, watch some of the other video videos. I suggest that you go and I encourage you to go and watch other videos of some of the ladies that are out there, especially the new ladies. Go leave a comment and show them some crafty love. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.